and I make the last out of the game. Fly ball to right field, we lose 5-4. Now we're in the loser bracket against UCLA with like seven guys that made the big leagues, Don Slott, Tim Leary, Mac Young. It goes on, you know. Um, and now we have to win five, four in a row to even go to Omaha in 114 degree weather in Fresno. You know, so we didn't like that. But Augie says, you know what? It takes two. Got to lose twice. And we come back and win four in a row. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, like I said, we don't like we don't like losing, but we never, you know, we, it's good to lose sometimes. It's like sometimes you have to fall down to get back up stronger. It's kind of like hitting the reset button. You gotta, yeah, you gotta lose to put things in perspective. Right. Sure, life. I mean, we always hear the the the, the classic Augie from '95 when that '95 team, which went, uh, they only lost nine games, but they lost yeah. three in a row. Right. And the, the famous DC Olson right. speech, where he's like trying to fire the guys up, and he can't come up with the words. He's just like, this, this, "We're better than this. <laughs> no, right. This is stupid, guys. Like, just, sh- just go out there and play ball." Right. And and then they and then they just they just ran roughshod over everybody. Yeah. Um, but you got to lose eventually. Of course. I mean, you know, football. Maybe you can have undefeated seasons, but I don't know if anybody's ever had an undefeated baseball season. No, never. And like that's why the game's the, the greatest game in the world because. It's the only game that you have to deal with failure more than success. If you if you go three out of ten, that means you got out, t- but you're in the Hall of Fame. You know, so it's the only you know a quarterback you throw th- three out of ten, you're going to be cut, uh, right? Hockey player uh, shots on goal, three out of ten, you're you're gone. Basketball, three out of you're, you're done. You never play. But in baseball, you go three out of ten or three and a half out of ten, you're you're super you're a superstar. Right. So you have to deal with failure in this sport more than any sport and it's what you like I tell people when I coach and I speak that every time I went to the plate since eight years old well not eight my mom blew that but uh, <laughs> but but since nine years old I maybe had 20,000 at bats from nine to my last at bat in the pro ball every time I went to the plate I thought I was going to get a hit mentally every time not one time I went out there I said you know what this guy's throwing oh geez I don't think I can hit this guy today. never Never. And anybody that does have that, they're not in the game anymore. <laughs> or they're, you know, they're, they're going to be at the bench all day. And they're just, you know, riding pine. So, but you know that that can't happen. Like you said, in baseball, you, you can't win every game. And when you do lose, and when you strike out, you know, I struck out four times in one game in my life, not in Cal State Fullerton, but with the Brewers and the minor leagues, uh, in fall ball, four times, I never struck out more than twice in my life, twice in the game. And then I hit four home runs in one game. I mean, so it's like the, the pinnacle, you know. And you just got to deal with failure and get yourself ready, come right back. So a lot of life skills besides baseball. And Augie always uses that. Like, guys, are we done? Are we dead? No. We got one more to go, right? That's it. Right? Go as hard as you can, you know. Well, speaking of the four home runs, I believe it's you, and I'd probably have to be fact-checked, uh, but I believe it's you and Scott Hurst, mm-hmm who are the only Titans to have hit four home runs in a single game. That's correct. Take us through that. Uh-huh. Well, it was it was interesting because I'm from the West Covina area. You know, like I said, Mount Cassack was our, our junior college there, and then Cal Poly Pomona. They were trying to recruit me since the Edgewood days. And the Laverne, Laverne right there. Laverne, Penn, Benny Hines, the, the head uh, coach there, and then also coached me in Alaska in 79. Um, I played for him in 79 in summertime. And... He went on to be the Dodgers hitting instructor, Gibson's home run in the World Series. He was on the field hugging him. He was, you know. So we're playing there. We're playing Laverne on a, on a, on a, a Friday night at 7 p.m. Back in my area, my town, you know, the homie, San Gabriel Valley Tribune. You know, I'm coming back. Now, remember, we just won the national championship, and I, and I was very successful on that team. Had a great year, and he come back in 1980. So we're coming there. I told my dad, I can't wait to see everybody, you know, play there. I mean, I was, I was pumped. I was, you know, a night game too. I mean, what do we have five night games ever in a year, right? Because we don't have lights. So when you play Laverne or we go, boy, you know, Boys in Park or, you know, I mean, it's wow, Chapman, you know, Hart Park. Jeez, we're in the big leagues. So we arrive there, you know, two hours early, you know, batting practice. I'm hitting ball out, you know. I mean, I'm in a little second base and still in bases and doubles and singles, but I'm hitting the ball out and batting practice. I got like 25 swings. I, I hit like six, seven out. Going, gee, I'm hitting the ball good. My dad comes over, gives my little handshake like we do every game, and 
I, he goes, he looked at my eyes, he goes, you, you look, I mean, he saw something in my eyes. He told me later, too. He was like, wow, you're ready. I, I'm ready. Now, we're playing Laverne, Division Three, right? We should we should beat them, but because of Chapman, that always stayed in our mind. Just, you got to yeah, play. Never underestimate. Yeah, you, know, you got to play. So, first time up, second pitch, boom, line drive out, left field, home run. And you know, Hines is ragging on me, you know, I'm running the back. And I know guys are playing on the team. Second time up. Home run, left center. I'm going, geez, wow. I mean, it's pretty, I mean, the ball, I feel like, I feel I felt it for three hours there. Third time up, home run. I'm going, oh, wow. Then some of the ball players on the other side were throwing their hats, you know, on the bench, like for the hat trick. Hat trick, yeah. So I'm going, oh, my God, you know, and I was a humble guy. You know, I just like, wow, that's, that's so funny. I'm going, oh, and everybody's looking at me like, scrapper. That was, nobody called me Sam for, I, you know, we scrapper. Um, so the fourth time up, I come up, and I just missed the fifth. I hit it to center field, probably five feet in front of George Hinshaw, was a big lure with the Padres, too. He caught the ball. I, I'm telling you, from where you're at, and there's the fence. I go, oh, my God, to get four, because at that time, four was a record in Major League everywhere. Nobody's got five at that time. So I go, oh, my God, I just missed that. So as I'm piling up the runs, as many, our teams were, you know, we're, we're up like 23 to five. Uh, you know, so I come up in the seventh inning. I hit another one, left center, off another pitcher, three different pitchers. I now, now four. I, I was, I was, you know, I mean, not, I was kind of in shock, you know, going around the bases, like, wow, this is unbelievable. I had like four home runs going in the game. Now I have eight for the season. End up with sixteen for a second baseman. I, I did it, you know, that was kind of incredible for that part of it, but. But I'm going, oh my God! So then I came up the sixth time up, and I and I grounded out the third baseman, and so I went four for six, four home runs, and we went, I think, like twenty eight or thirty one to six. So it was a, you know, I had fourteen RBI. I, I know it was, it was what a, what a night! It was just unbelievable. So when it did happen with Scotty Hurst, and I heard about it in Northridge. I mean, I, I just, it was, I was happy. I really was. I mean, I mean, we all heard. Records are made to be broken, but when you have that kind of night, that most people, it's, I don't too many people in the history of the game in Division One, you know, it's hard to get that. And I was part of that. And Scotty, great ball player, great ball player. He's playing doing well right now in the minor leagues. I don't know if he's big league he, camp. He's already gotten pulled up by, he the, by the Cardinals. Cardinals. He had right? a little cup of coffee. Yeah, by but, the Cardinals, but, but he's, but he's, he's a good there. ball player, man. He's, he's one of the seventy-one a, that have made it to that's the majors. What I'm saying he's a good ball player. Uh, <clears throat> so hearing hearing that. And I, I still I still want to go back to the 1979 mm. Omaha trip, uh, and I don't want to get too ahead of ourselves. But in in hearing when when Scotty ties the four home run record that you have, um, were you thinking like did it did it? I mean, I'm assuming they probably took you back to that day, sure. and then also was it <clears throat> thinking like, hey, Scotty's probably feeling what I was feeling. Or, or what was what was your thoughts when you heard well, that, that Scott hit those four out? I was just very proud, <clears throat> being in this. You know, with, with Scotty, both of us and Titans. You know, thirty years difference in, in time. I don't know what year he did it. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, but uh, no, I was proud. I was proud that he did that. You know, I mean, I, I never. You know, not, I didn't even thought about the. You know, I was thinking, like you said, it brought me back because they posted things and people. Oh, that's Sammy Favadas. Uh, oh, really? That's wow. Is that something? So. No, I was just proud at the moment. You know, I know what he was probably feeling like on top. I never talked to him about it because I never saw him. I, 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 I reunion or anything like that. But um, no, I just very proud of that uh, he experienced because I know we both know without saying anything. It's like having ten pregnant ladies sit there and they're gonna give birth and you don't have to say anything. Just look at each other. We're all in the same boat, guys. But you can just look and have that bond right. even though you never met him. Right. So yeah, that's the bond I felt. Well, let's go back to uh, the 79 and, and, and the College World Series, and uh, eventually we'll get back to the the, the championship game against Arkansas. Right. So, lose first game in the regionals up at Fresno, but then you eventually run the, run the table and, and, and advance out. Take us a little bit through, uh, what, are, what are some of the idiosyncrasies that we want to probably know about in that regional before actually leaving for Omaha? Well, I was sick. I had 103 fever, um, and it was 120 degrees there. And, but I'm not gonna. I'm not. I had a little flu. I was. I, I couldn't believe it. I know because you know from cold, 
air conditioning, and then you're in Fresno at the hotel, and then you're back in practice that night before we started the regionals. And uh, I, I, I had a little, it seemed like almost like shrimp throat. And I remember staying in when the guys went to eat. I just, I was so hot. My dad came in the hotel room. You okay? We had three of us um, in a room. And, um, I, I, you know, I was, I was, I was hurting. I, I was hurting, you know, but I, I was, but I was so, you know, I, I wore my, my sleeve under my uniform, you know, white one. I, I always wore it. I mean, blue one. I always wore that. Good luck. You know, we're very superstitious and I always have been. So I, and people are going, like, it's 114 degrees and it's, it's a hundred at nighttime. What do you wear then? It's gotta be on me. <laughs> so after losing the first game, it was hard. We came back the next day and we took care of business against uh, Portland State. Beat them pretty good, like by 10, 15 runs. Then we have to go play for, uh, Fresno State, the host. You know, we beat them. Closer game, like 6 3 or something like that. And then uh, we have to beat UCLA twice. And Sunday night. And then if we win that on Memorial Day, it's going to be the championship. So um, we were getting, uh, you know, ready and, and we knew what we had to do I mean with the pressure you know you don't feel at the time you do but you don't because you can't but you know that you can't lose back to the whole analogy whoever loses gets killed and we just could not lose so we went out there and we beat UCLA in a really good um, game that Sunday night I, I like a, it was like maybe 11 to 8 so it was a good game and we, we came up and then we knew the next day was going to be we have to beat him Tim Leary you know, he just beat us, and he's a great pitcher. So it was an a afternoon game. We come up, and we took the lead, and we never, I think we won like 5-2. to two. I mean, we never, we never was in, in jeopardy. I mean, the first two, three innings, 0-0, zero, zero, you know. But then we won that. It was like, wow. You know, it was, uh, you know, I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to be the MVP in the regionals. I, I was just, I was so humbled. It was like, oh, my God. I was outside with my dad, all the people, and they said, oh, they want you on the field. In the old days, like seven, eight reporters, no camera, you know, take a picture. And they're asking me questions. I mean, you know, it's so, so much different now that ESPN, you're sitting there for 17 hours and same talking to the reporters. But I was like, oh, my God. We just won that. We're going to Omaha. So that visualization of this 14-year-old looking at Augie, believing him at the banquet, the practices, the bad time in 77, 78, you know, all through, it's like it all came, it all came to fruition. I mean, mm-hmm. it, we're going to Omaha, you know? I mean, it was, it was that's unbelievable, you know? I, we're going, we're going. So it was uh, very exciting. We showered and got in the bus and headed back to Orange County. It seems like nowadays that the celebration of winning a regional or even a super regional and just going to Omaha, you see the dog pile where the dog pile was usually just reserved for oh, Omaha. Yeah. What was after the final out of that game, that championship game on Memorial Day? Uh, what, what what was the team reaction? Oh uh, no, we, we I don't know. I, I mean, we all went to the mound like you know, the typical jump, jump, jump. But it was not not like uh, you know, it, it, the job wasn't done. You know, uh, we we celebrate the moment. A great feat in beating UCLA. Great team, great team. We're a great team too. We just were better that day, and um, but we, we it wasn't done. We had to refocus. And Augie's where he says there's a lot of distractions in this. You got to stay away from the distractions. We're going to Omaha, hotels, riders, TV. This you need to be focused on the job that we have to do. Don't get kind of caught up with that stuff. Don't you know? And that that stays with all of us. Even that. So. We celebrated that night. I mean, we were on the bus coming back. We came back. It was 1 o'clock in the morning, 10, 11. You know, we go to sleep. He gave us the day off the next day. So we were very excited about that. I, I was on top of the, the world. I mean, my greatest accomplishment. I'm 19 years old. I mean, we're going. We're leaving in four days to Omaha. Some great teams, eight teams. You know, it's different now. They're so you know, super regional. I mean, 80, I mean, we just had a regional, eight regionals across the United States, and four teams in each regional. And double elimination, no brackets in Omaha. Or you just go double elimination. And um, we're leaving in four days. We're going to Omaha, you know. And that was you dream about as a kid. I watched Freddie Lynn there in 1973 and Channel 11 at 11 o'clock at night. They, they, they would play the old tape. And I'm going, wow, we're going. So, yeah, it, it, we celebrated that night, I mean, more or less. But, but it was, we were focused right away two days later back on the field. We're going. That's behind us.
Well, take us through the week of preparation. You get the day off, but then the week of preparation before you actually have to leave for Omaha. Well, that's when the – I mean, we're at practice, but then, like you said, the distraction.